life. Why on earth are you carrying that duffel bag around with you? This duffel bag we mean the Simon fellow we're about to see. This Simon fellow, is that how you're going to address him? How do I look? Do I look nice? You look fine. It might help if you looked at me. It was a long ride. Matthew! <laughs> I want to look perfect. How does my Oh, my hair's a mess. Why did I wear yellow? I hate yellow. I should have worn the blue dress with the black heels. You look fine. Why do you care what color your dress is? Tommy always cared when I made an effort. Remember that time I showed up at his baseball game with my hair and curlers? He wanted to strangle me. Mom, you look like you just stepped out of a slasher movie. <laughs> Demented Mother from Hell, that was the title. <laughs> oh, from that day on, I, I promised I would always dress up for his games. He liked me in blue. You know, we're not going to be seeing Tommy. We're going to be seeing this Simon Morrison fellow. I mean, oh, I thought you had that straight in your mind. Straight in my mind. Ben's tall, with blonde, curly hair. I am. Oh, I wonder if he has a dimple like Tommy. Well, you know, one dimple. Oh, Lord, how that used to annoy your mother. She said it was a birth defect. That he was a freak of nature because he had one dimple. Wow, meanwhile, your mother was a freak of nature. 30 years is my mother-in-law. She thinks I haven't noticed she has an extra toe. Your mother should <laughs> never, never wear flip-flops, Matthew. You know, it doesn't sound like you have it straight in your mind and you won't be seeing Tommy. It's straight in my mind. Well, it doesn't sound like it. You haven't shut up about Tommy and his Simon fellow the entire right here. Oh, I wonder if Simon likes to play baseball. I wonder if Simon likes three days grace. I wonder if Simon likes the crust cut off the sandwiches. Simon, Simon, Simon! That's who we came all the way here to see. Is there a problem with wondering what someone likes? Yes, because all those are things that Tommy liked. This Simon fellow is going to be anything like our Tommy. And if you don't have that straight in your mind, you might as well just get back in the car and go straight home. Tell me you wouldn't do that. We have waited two years for this. I know that Tommy is gone. I know that this Simon fellow won't be our son. You don't have to remind me. But what does it hurt to hope that there's something similar, something that would remind us of Tommy? Other than the fact that this Simon fellow is walking around with... Tommy's heart. Yes. Other than the fact that this person is walking around with our son's heart in his chest. I hope 
this coconut. That's my favorite. I mean, thank you. It's so nice of you to bring it all this way. Coconut is Tommy's favorite. It is coconut. Isn't that a nice coincidence, Matthew? Hey, how do you like your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? With the crust cut off. Oh my god. Please tell me you like baseball. Not really. I wasn't able to play sports much. He doesn't have a dimple. Uh, you don't have a dimple. Mm -hmm. Should I? No. You shouldn't. Are you doing okay now? I, I never felt better. Your son had a strong heart. I don't even know how to thank you. I, I should be baking you a cake. I should have drove three hours. No, 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 you don't need to do anything for us, Tommy. Sorry. You know, my wife and I, we're just, we're just happy to meet you, and we wanted to check up on the old ticker and see how it's holding up. <laughs> you, sorry. <laughs> My husband is full of bad jokes and bad timing. That's why Tommy never brought his girlfriends around. It sounds like my pops. After the transplant, I had to stop going to restaurants with him. He would wait for me to place my order, let the waitress walk away from the table, and then call her back and say, um, sorry, ma'am, uh, my son had a change of heart. Can he get the pancakes? <laughs> Dad, they don't know I had transplants. Only you get your joke. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have retold it. And it's Tommy's cleats, his patchers meant three hot balls, two t shirts, some blue gym shorts, a fresh pair of socks, and three bucks of juice bar. He was just running late for his baseball game that day and called him. He asked me to pack his bag. He was going to pick him up when he got off of work, and he then made it home. You've been carrying that around for two years? I promised him, Diane, just speak. I told him, and I'll carry the bag after you, so you don't have to be late for the game. And then I broke a promise to my boy. I just, I've been lugging that bag around, and I, I just needed to bring it out to Tommy somehow. May I do something for you and your wife? Sure. Come listen to your son's heart. 